Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. This week we're heading up to Iron River, Wisconsin to chase multi-species. That's just amazing to me, Dale. Look at that, man. <laughs> Andy One Rock, look at that fish, That's buddy. Beauty. Josh, come on in here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, folks, it's absolutely a beautiful day, and we're on the pike chain up in Iron River, Wisconsin, with our buddy Josh Tigan. Boy, what a difference a week makes. Last oh. week we were in Ely, Minnesota, 17 below zero with 35, minus 35 wind chill. Today we got a beautiful day. Oh, it's gorgeous out. I mean, you can't beat it for ice fishing. <laughs> what are we targeting now today and tomorrow? Uh, we're going to target pike, bass, panfish, and walleye. So hopefully we can get the Grand Slam and catch them all. The Grand Slam, the I Grand like Slam. that. Yeah, yep. we got quite a good crew with us today. We got our buddy Pete. We got some guys from uh, uh, Uncle Josh with us. Uh, we're going to have fun. It's going to be fun. Hey, folks, so show we're using and how we're using it. Oh, don't forget we got Jeremy from Manzoil. Yeah, too. can't forget him. <laughs> we'll have all of that right after this. This time of year, I start to get real anxious. All I want to do is get out on the lake. That's my time. Time to hang with the guys, to have a little friendly competition. And you can't beat the adrenaline rush of seeing the fish come in. There's nothing like it. And there's nothing like a fresh fish fry at the end of the day with the gang. Mills Fleet Farm, serving the great outdoors since 1955. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Introducing two new families of ATVs from Yamaha. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700. The new Grizzly offers increased power and performance to deliver more exploration and more adventure. The new Kodiak 700 features legendary Yamaha reliability for more productivity and more value. The all-new Grizzly and Kodiak 700 ATVs, all with more than ever before. There's no place like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Josh, hey, you got welcome one. back, folks. We got a tip up already, Josh. Let's see what yep. you got, buddy. Uh, All right, man. And what oh, do you got? What do you got? Go. And, nice pike. Oh, nice way to start the day. Yeah, that's not a bad one. I'll tell you what, those pike are built really well here. And I think that's one of the fun things about coming up here to the pike chain yep. is uh, action. You get a lot of action on an average day, don't you? You do. I mean, we just caught a little bass here. I set it back down in this pike hit, so it's a good start to the morning. Now, folks, we're still considered early ice this time of the year, you know, right around Christmas. So you're still looking for weeds for your tip-ups? Yes, fish the shallow weeds in the lakes, the break lines off those weeds. That's your best area right now for the pike and bass. Ooh, Josh just got a pike. Uh, what do you got here, Pedro? Oh, that's a pike. Easy. Uh, a couple of miles of line. Oh. Oh. Good, good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Good to be here, Let's man. see what we got. Does this feel like a decent fish, Pete? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's made several runs, and he had a ton of line out. Right? I can so. see that he had a ton of line out. I guess. It's a little. He's got some. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice a nice pike. fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is, is oh, a beauty. Nice. Better than I thought. Holy cow, nice. look at the size of that pike. Yeah, a nice build on it. Boy, that nice really one, is well built. And, and you know, <laughs> we like salad. Now, you're Vegetarian. <laughs> you, you set these out in the basin, deeper water? Yeah, this is a little deeper out here, and it was kind of weird because we hadn't had any action in the deeper water, and so far it had been all shallow, and this is the first tip-up out here. Beautiful fish, though. Oh, he's running, too. Tip up! Is it moving? Is it moving, Josh? It, it was. All right, buddy. All right, Let's see here what we go. got here. 
There we go. Ooh, I'm not having any time to jig. No, this is fast action. Okay, Ooh, buddy. It feels like a heavy fish. Well, that last one Pete got was awesome. Let's see. Oh, oh, big one. Big energy. bass. Oh, 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 look at that one. Look at the size of that LMB. And did he eat that, yeah, man? He wow. Really good. And we'll be able to release him without a problem. Yep. I can see the yep, hook right, right the, there. Right in the top. But it is interesting, folks. You know, we're having these tip ups set out here in the basin, like I said before. But the panfish are on the weed edge. I'm marking Pan, a yes. lot of fish on the weed edge. Yep, most of them are on the weed edge, so hopefully we can get into a bunch of crappies, too. Boy, that's a nice bass, buddy. That is. That's probably three, four pounds. And we're going to walleye fish tonight? We are. There he is. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you said you were marking them pretty good over here, huh? I was marking quite a few. I just switched to that cast. Ooh, that's a nice bluegill. bluegill there. Yeah, no, look at that, folks. Cast master with a little tip. You know, that is funny. When we talk about little cast masters, people think that uh, it's basically a crappie perch bait. The bigger bluegills will hit that, and that's what I like. You know, you kind of weed out the smaller ones, don't bother with it. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting because I was trying a bunch of different stuff and just tried the spoon. I, I hope this is a pattern because I had a hit immediately. Well, that's a couple of pike, a big bass, and now bluegills. Yeah, I caught a nice bluegill over there, too, while you were tending to your tip-ups. So. Well, I had to catch a fish. I know. Ooh, folks, get him to come up. Get him to come up. <laughs> there he is. That here he comes. This is oh, that's a nice gill too. Look at that, folks. I mean, for average size gills, those are really, really nice. And again, just that teeny little cast master. And again, what I like about that, folks, is the smaller gills don't seem to hit it. And I'm fishing it, as you saw on the hummingbird before, about three, four feet off the bottom, making those fish come up to eat it. That's a nice fish. Well, we caught, uh, you know, quite a few bluegills that we didn't film and some pike, and a big pike that we caught. But now, this time of the day, you know, 3 o'clock, you want to move out and set for walleyes. Yeah, this is my favorite part of the day. You know, cover a bunch of water, throw out a bunch of tip-ups, and wait for the walleye bite. And it usually lasts, starts about an hour before dark? Yep, usually starts about an hour before dark and goes right till dark. Once in a while, you get a few after, but that best time, like you said, is about an hour before. And you're looking in about 20, 25 feet of water? Yep, deep sand grass, we're going to fish out there, and that's where they should be. Is he there? I think he's there, but I can't tell if he's moving towards me or... You can actually sometimes... Oh, oh you go. got him. All right. Sometimes yeah, you, you can actually... There. <laughs> sometimes you can actually feel him chewing, can't you? Well, that's what I... Yeah, I could. The <laughs> problem was I hate it when they're coming at you like that, but he gave me a little thump. All right, let's hope we got a walleye coming in here, and we have a... Oh, yeah. Ooh, there, there you go. go. And actually, hold that up with the weeds. I want to show the... Or grab those well, weeds, Josh. <laughs> there. You, Josh you can grab the fish. The but weeds. we're actually, as we said before, before folks move to the basin of the lake and are fishing walleyes in the late evening. And this is the type of weeds that'll grow down that deep, Josh? Yep, yep, that sand grass. We're fishing, you know, yep. anywhere from 20 to 27 feet and uh, those walleyes love to hang out in that sand grass. I mean, that's a real pretty oh, yeah. walleye right there. Nice and fish, uh, you know, my, my daughters, Taylor and Blake, asked me to bring a few fish home because they oh. like my fish fries. Well, that is an eater walleye there. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful fish. Tip up, hey, Tony's turn. We got to welcome Tony. He's now working for Kalins and Castmasters and Beaver Dams. Absolutely. Well, welcome, buddy. Now, Josh just caught a walleye, so it's your turn. Or Pete caught one. This one was spinning nice and slow. It looked like oh, yeah. first. So. Okay, there it goes. Well, there's definitely something there. It's getting to be that magical time. It is. And is he the? Hey! There all right. we go. Connection. Good all head. right. All right, buddy. Good head shakes, John. All right. Let's see what we got coming here. Oh, he's close. And, and oh, oh, nice oh, one. That's a beauty. Nice Look walleye. at that one. Sweet. Hold them up real nice for Way the to folks go. at home to see there, Tony. And hey, so welcome to Hard and Soft Fishing, buddy. It's good to have you. Good and, to um, be here. That is a beautiful walleye. The color on these fish, Josh, is gorgeous. Oh, it's awesome. It? These gin clear lakes, you can see down 20 feet, and this, the color really shows. Josh! You got one, John? I got one, buddy. I finally got one jigging. Jigging, here. huh? Doesn't All right. feel real big. Here he comes, and we have ourselves. Oh, oh nice. Oh, there we go. Nice walleye. No, and what I was using there was just the cast mask in the minnow head. Yep. But this is one of those deals tonight where the tip-ups are magic, right? Oh, yeah. When you get this clear water like that, tip-ups are the way to go. But I got one jigging. Nice. Yeah, no, I was trying for a long time. And that little cast master tipped with the minnow head is just a deadly wall. It is. Me, it is. It? It's tough to beat it. Tip-up! All tip right. Up. All right, guys, we got them going here. It's going to be Robin's turn on this one. All right. All right, buddy. You know what's nice about these... Uh, 
these suits is you can actually kneel down in this slush. And what are these called? The Ice Armor by Clam Extreme Suits? Yep. Is that the deal? They're Ooh, awesome. Oh, you got them. All right. Yep. And waterproof. I like that, Josh. Oh, I love mine. Okay, let's see if we got another wall Thank ski coming in here. This is fun, Josh, isn't it, buddy? It's a blast. All right, I love Robin. walleyes. Boy, yeah, so, ooh, oh, there, nice ooh, one. Again, There's that folks. sand grass. There's that sand grass. That's nice a beauty one, there, Robin. Very nice. Now, you yep. really, when you, before you set the hook, you got to kind of just like be real tender. Very tender. They just taking it down real slow and real gentle. So, yep, and then you set it. Ooh, this is Pete's tip up here, yeah, Josh. Well, we got the Packer All right. colors. Ooh, the Packer color beaver dams. I like uh, that, Josh's man. favorite color. Well, Josh know. happens to be a Vikings fan. <laughs> oh, that's right. Anything there, there, Pedro? I feel him, but he's coming towards me a little. There, there you go. Right. Oh, good job there. Josh, this is so cool. Oh, These are fun. beautiful walleyes, they too. Are. Great size. Nice Look at that. Oh, nice. That nice. is gorgeous. Way to go, Pete. To Boy, and you, isn't it? <laughs> and you called it. You said late afternoon for this, right? Yep, evening bite. You know, typical on clear water, they start biting, and they're, they're, they're popping left and right now. We were fishing the lakes of Iron River, Wisconsin, a six-hour drive from Milwaukee, seven hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish-attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Get the most protection for your vehicles and toys and the most bang for your buck with the M-Soil Preferred Customer Program. Join today and receive up to 25% savings on M-Soil products, exclusive product and shipping promotions, free M-Soil gear, points on all purchases, referral rewards. Register today and take advantage of all the benefits offered by the M-Soil Preferred Customer Program. Visit msoil.com PC. Folks, taking a break in the fishing, Ice Armor by Clam makes the best outerwear available for all ice fishermen. But they also have some really neat women's wear. And Kelly, you got to tell us a little bit about this. Yeah. Well, at Clam, we've totally revamped our Ice Armor apparel for the year. So we have some new women's suits. We have our lift suit and we have our um, extreme suit. They both come. We now have a blue option for women since some women don't like pink, but I'm very partial to pink. Um, we have a removable liner in both of the jackets. They both have a different removable liner. The bibs also do come with the removable liner as well. They've been totally revamped head to toe. And I got to mention too, folks, windproof, waterproof, breathable. Yeah. They'll keep you warm. And for more information, clamoutdoors.com. Boy, I'll that. tell you what, folks, oh. we got a lot of All water right. on the ice oh. today. This is a beautiful day to fish. Feel pretty good? Yeah, it does, John. Like All good. right. All right. Thanks, Josh. All right, yep. keep her coming, keep her coming. And I see. Have we gotten to the marker? Here, boy, he had a, oh, oh, that's a look at that walleye. Oh, look at nice that fish. walleye. Very nice Way to go. Here, yeah. hold them up. All right. Nice and, fish. And Josh, when you when you look for these spots, you can you can actually see the green weeds on your hummingbird, can't you? The little green line. You can, you can see it down there. It doesn't come up very high. It's only about six inches high, but they love to hang out in that stuff. And that's what these fish use in the winter? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, boy, well, that's I can't believe the average size. Yeah, you know, a, these gorgeous. And you know, this Iron River area, you you won't you guys to Guamagon Bay, but you guide all these inland lakes too, Josh? Yes, there's literally hundreds of lakes, you know, within 10 miles Iron River that I guide on the daily basis, you know, and it's it's phenomenal fishing. And, it really and how is. many people can you take at a time? I'll take up to 10 guys, you know. Up to 10 yep, at a time? I will. That's perfect. Yep. Oh, look at this, Josh. We're picking up tip-ups. We're going to leave, and of course, <laughs> there's Pete. I saw him on the old hummingbird there, Jen. Yeah, and let's see what we got coming in here. It feels like a Walter. Oh, Ooh. that's a nice. Come on up here, Josh. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice walleye. And you know, it's it's fun to catch them on tip-ups, but I think it, jigging walleyes through the ice is a blast. It don't you? is, and it's exciting. It's a beautiful night. You know, you get to watch them come in on the screen, and I teased them up a little bit and whack. So yeah. Yeah. What are we end up with about 15 walleye. I say we caught 15 to 17 oh, yeah. at yeah. least. And, it was uh, a good night. Tomorrow we're going to do a little bass in Northern Pike and we have a special guest tomorrow. Who's coming? Tex. 
Tex Mena. Yeah, everybody's been asking where yeah, Tex has been like, lately. Where's Tex? You know, where's we Tex? Get him up there. Yeah, he can be the taste tester tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so, but nice that. job. Isn't that that's a blast, isn't it's it, dude? Ah, uh, yeah. We got a nice fish here. All right, buddy. I thought we were all picking up. We just closed the wall. Oh boy, he's peeling drag. All right, big buddy. head shakes, big head shakes. I was, I was checking oh, tip ups. Yeah, to get that out of there. Yeah, there you go. I was checking tip ups, pulling the last one. I went to grab my rod. I saw a big mark down there. Yeah. And I have not got bit today on the rod. Oh, oh look, look at, at the size one. of that. Wow. Oh, that is on that new bait. That's folks. on the hyperglide. That's it. Now that is a cool bait, folks. Let's take a look at this thing right here. Yeah. That is the new hyperglide, and it's got a little wings on it. So. Yep. When you jig it, it opens up and does a flat. It's got unreal action, nothing like nothing else. I mean, those wings open up and it glides. And then this fish bit, I was actually just barely ripping it because those wings will open and close. Right. And that thing just throttled. Pull them it. up again. Yeah, that's beautiful. Actually, I've got some underwater footage of that hyperglide that we're looking at right now. And you can see that when you rip it up, the wings open, it comes down like this and just has yeah. great action. Oh, it's terrific oh, action. Boy, that's a beautiful walleye. How did we do today, buddy? Oh, this was unreal. We keep closing the show. Everybody yeah. should pull their lines, I you know? know. It's it's late. I, it's it's unreal. It's it's nice when everything comes together with weather and I mean, you couldn't ask for better weather. Well, here we go, folks. It is day two of our fishing adventure up in Iron River, and we got a tip up here, the old new round beaver dammers. All right, come on down now, Josh. Go ahead, Tony. It's your, your you were the one that set the flag. Let's go, buddy. Well, it's, it's a half hour thing. show. Let's move in. <laughs> See there? Yeah, there we go. We're All actually right. set up for northern pike and largemouth bass, believe it or not, folks. Yeah. We got a oh, ooh, there very you large. Go. Hold him up there, Josh, and show the folks at nice home. One. And you know, early ice like this, folks, uh, and it is uh, three, four, five inches of ice, you can catch largemouth targeting them in weed beds, right? Oh, yeah, you can for sure. I mean, it's just like late fall fishing, they'll be up shallow in the green weed still. Josh, I don't think this is a crappie here, buddy. Oh, Whoa, here he comes. I, I don't know. Oh, it is a fighting. Oh, oh largemouth bass. Where is he, yes? On that little vibrato, yeah. you know, the little blade bait. But we're going to kind of switch gears here. We got all our tip ups set up. And uh, actually, your buddy Acorn found a bunch of crappies over here. He did. I came and parked my grizzly, and I catch a bass. But uh, crappies you can catch in the middle of the day? Oh, yeah, you can. This lake's a little stained, so we should be able to get them throughout Let's the day. Let's get them. Let's get a meal of crappies all to right. take home. There we go. You, you got one, Josh? Got one, John. I'm coming, buddy. Bass or crappie? Oh, nice crappie. Yeah, hold that up. I mean, that right there is a gorgeous eating size fish. It is. And uh, that's another good thing about your guide service. When you come out and set tip ups, you got all the jigging equipment for everybody. Yep. And, and you pass the time catching the panties. Huh? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of good crappies and bluegills around here, you know. And, and like you said, you got the tip ups for bass and pike. Acorn, acorn's got one. Oh, yeah. Acorn, right. hey, my buddy Acorn. All right, pal, let's see what we, oh, nice there's one. a nice one there, pal. Hold him up for the folks at yeah. home to see. Actually, he's my prince in shining armor today, <laughs> folks. He found the spot, didn't you? I sure did. You know? I got swarmed around. But the thing is, you, you drilled a bunch of holes, and, and you, you just got to find the fish. Yep, you got to move. Well, That's hold them move. out. I mean, those are all good eaters. Yeah, you're my prince in shining armor, oh, buddy. Thanks. Good job. Hey, I got a treat for you today. I got a treat for you too. You know that? I got uh, turkey sausage infused with cheddar cheese. This is Johnsonville premium turkey sausage infused with Wisconsin cheddar. They come pre-cooked. It's got a nice text. You just throw them on the grill in about 10 minutes, they're ready to eat. You know that? I'm ready to eat. Well, let's go <laughs> take a bite there. Tex, our ultimate taste tester, Tex Mena, and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> seriously, guys. Pete, you love John's Real Products. How are those guys? Very good. Uh, how'd they get the cheese inside the turkey? Uh, they fed it to the turkey before they killed it, I guess. No, I don't know. But Johnsonville turkey sausage, man, infused with Wisconsin cheddar. It is outstanding. Hey, hey, look at that. Texarini. We're catching them like crazy. Oh, my gosh. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Look at the size of that. Get down here. Get down here. Sitting there on your clam chair. Now, that is a gorgeous fish there, Tex. On the little cat. Master. Yes, yes, yes. Well, nice. yeah, those brats or those uh, turkey sausages really got you hopped up, didn't they, buddy? <laughs> they sure did. No, uh, that's a beautiful crappie. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you've lived in northern Wisconsin most of your life. Those are rare, aren't they? You got that right.
It's even rarer when I catch them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Josh, you have spots and lakes up here where you're not quite that big, but you get big crappies, Yep, right? you get a few big ones on occasion. I mean, that's a really big fish. That there, is. Know. And again, folks, we don't even care if the tip-ups are no. going crazy because we're catching crappies. <laughs> folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Mills Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2016 Fishing Contest. Steve Atkelski of Hubert has caught this 47-inch catfish on the Wisconsin River on a crawler. John Sinden Sr. of Milwaukee caught this 68-inch sturgeon on the Fox River on a night crawler. Daryl Fritz of Rothschild boated this 53-inch muskie on the Detroit Lakes on a sucker. Ray Branchuk of Manitowoc boated this 23-inch smallmouth bass on little sturgeon. He was using a grub. And this week's kids winners are Grace and Johnson of St. Michael, Minnesota caught this 11-inch sunfish in Ottertail County on a foo-foo jig. And Tate Renning of Hutchinson, Minnesota caught this 41-inch muskie in central Minnesota on a raider. Remember, folks, for all your ice fishing needs, go to Mills Fleet Farm. They've got a great selection and they've got great prices and you can get all your snacks and your licenses there, too. If you fish, chances are you've used a must-add hook. That's all we use. Come on, get him in there. Army tank, Daredale. Oh, there is a big boy. I mean, I just can't believe this, folks. Oh, let's see him, yeah. buddy. Look at that. <laughs> that 10 yeah. seconds, though, makes a big difference, buddy. Well, that one is a gorgeous fish. Is that pushing three? That's three. We're going to weigh it. Must have the world's largest manufacturer of fishing hooks. Get the point? We did. He's fished here for decades. He knows every hump, every drop off, every contour. He's dedicated his entire life to understanding this single body of water. And he didn't know squat about it until two hours ago. AutoChart Live lets you build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. Hey folks, remember you can watch all of our shows online simply by going to GillespieFishing.com. Hey, hey, Jeremy, my buddy Jeremy hey, from John. Amsoil. What do we got here? We've been catching a lot of crappies. Is that a crappie? I don't think so. It's got a little more weight than that. Uh, what do we got? Bring him in here. We have ourselves. Trojan. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a nice hey, largemouth hey. bass there, pal. Hey, you know, while I got a second here, you know, Amsoil has been a fine sponsor of our show for many years. And I don't know if a lot of folks realize that you guys sponsor the Eagle Real River Snowmobile Championships, right? Yeah, we're title sponsors have been for about the past eight years that's coming up in mid-january uh right through the weekend on the 20th there uh, in eagle river the one, yeah. one of the oldest uh, snowmobile races in the world and that's the week of the 20th of january and that's a, a fun week for folks to come up and enjoy it huh? oh especially when there's a bunch of snow on the trails and people can go riding and you know we spent a couple days riding out there and may we like to hit some of the local uh, lakes as well and that's eagle river wisconsin again the dates are uh it's the weekend of the 20th weekend of the 20th hey yeah. nice bass Not too. too bad Oh, there's a nice one there. Ooh, this one's got some weight to it. Got a good one, Josh? Yeah, this one's got some weight. All right, oh, buddy, yeah, let's there's see. a nice one. Yeah. Another one on the rattle master. Good eater. Yep. So the thing though, folks, when you're doing this is really to be mobile and move around. And uh, since you're catching fish there, I'm moving close to you. All right. You got one down there? You got one down there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see here. We've I done see. well today. I mean, well, we have, oh, that's not a bad crop. Not a whopper, but you know, this is actually about average of what we've been catching with a few big ones mixed in. Yeah, well, your dad got that beautiful yeah. one. But you know, that's one thing, you know, obviously you're a musky guru, but uh, you get on the ice like this, this is a lot of fun, isn't it, catching the crappies? It really is, and it's a beautiful day today. You know, I always enjoy it when I can go bare hand it out here you yeah. know and just move around from hole to hole but yeah it's a fun day the fish are pretty active you know you just if you quit seeing fish you hop around to another hole and you find a batch of fish again and, yeah hey look at that my old buddy tex josh just got one the evening bite is on the evening bite is on all right Ooh, what are you doing he's catching up look holding him up <laughs> bring bring him up here i mean look at that 
You threw that other big one back, didn't you? Yeah. Were you sad? <laughs> Were you sad? Yeah. Yeah. But no, seriously, this has been a great day for you. Look at all the look at all the fish he's got down here, folks. Take a look at that. I mean, I, I guess the Minas are going to have a crappie dinner, huh? I believe tomorrow night. Your white pat is that going to be a, what New Year's dinner for you guys? Well, I don't know. Whatever, it'll be a dinner. <laughs> no, hold him up again, though, Tex. I, aren't those nice average size fish? Oh, yummy. Yummy, yeah. <laughs> hey, here we go, sitting on my old ATV. Here he comes, and oh, you know, like Pete said, folks, these aren't the biggest crappies in the world, but I'll tell you what, they're a lot of fun. Look at where that cast master is down there, man. He just ate that. But, uh, folks, we haven't filmed a lot of these, but we've literally, between five, six guys, have caught about 65 of these. And uh, I've kept four or five for dinner, and that's about all you need. But this is just a lot of fun, and a good part of uh, Josh's guide service. Set the tip ups for the big fish and come in and jig for the crappies. There's another one, John. Coming, coming. I just got a nice one, too. This has been a ball, buddy. Yep. Oh, there Ooh, you go. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Now, lip him and hold him out. Now, again, uh, this is a nice deal, too. You know, to, I, like I said before on camera, I'll keep five, six, seven of those. Yep. And that's enough for a meal. And yeah. that's the perfect size. Yep. And uh, you got bites like this all winter long on the Inland Lakes? All winter long. I mean, it stays good like this, you know, all the way up till March. And this turns on again, you know, late ice. Right. But you'd mention to the folks, too, that you also guide Chaguamagon Bay, and that out there is coho, splake. Yep, browns, see? lake trout, everything. Yeah. It's got it all. Josh Tigan guides all the lakes in the Iron River area on a daily basis. For more information, give Josh a call. That number is 715-813-0575. 813-0575. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Hey folks, I hate to tell you, but that's what's coming to the Midwest pretty soon. And that means it's time for MW Marine to winterize your boat. Yes, MW Marine will winterize all outboards and stern drives so your engine is ready to go next spring. They have both indoor and outdoor storage, plus they're there to shrink wrap your boat. MW Marine in Hales Corners, your winterizing boat headquarters. Go to MWMarine.com for more information. Get on! Hey Josh, great time, and once again I want to mention you're guiding every day, and you do have some openings? I do, I have some openings for winter still, so. Don't you want to wish everybody a happy new year, Acorn? Absolutely. Hey, really, now you got the name Acorn, is that a, the name your parents gave you, is that it true? Is, it is true. And it again, it's true. Acorn. Acorn. Okay, well hey, happy yeah. new year everybody, right guys? Happy new year. Happy new year. <laughs> and folks, that is our show for today, please join us next week. I don't know, we're going to fish yet, we will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! John Gillespie!